Good morning. Jessica Burrell here coming at you from one of my favorite paths and starting to enjoy the little sprinklings of the fall colors coming out here in southwestern Ontario. The weather is so perfect. I love it. I love hot weather. <laughs> this is only second to hot weather. So I wanted to come talk to you today about mindset in action. We've been talking all week about what it takes to have an entrepreneurial mindset. And how is that different from just regular mindset? <laughs> and the answer, the short answer is not too different. The short answer is when we're an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur, if we have any limiting beliefs as a person, anything that stops us personally or challenges or any of those limits, stopping points, ceilings, barriers. If we have those as a person, they're always going to show up for us as an entrepreneur. In fact, in my experience, and if you're an entrepreneur, tell me if this is true for you. In my experience, they show up really quick. <laughs> they show up a lot faster in my face really quickly as an entrepreneur uh, because we are pushing the boundaries of our comfort zone often more quickly than, you know, us as a person. I've heard it said before that the four things that create the biggest growth in our lives are relationship, like intimate relationship, having children, um, being an entrepreneur, and actively taking on your personal development. So, and my, you know, when I first started, I had all those boxes checked off. So there was definitely a time of growth that was hella uncomfortable and I guess technically has not stopped. So let's talk, let's think about the action, entrepreneur mindset and action. What does that mean? <laughs> so number one, action is the thing that creates <laughs> clarity. It creates confidence. It is the thing that when we're in action, it is actually the impetus of all of our stuff coming up. The action is what pushes us out of our comfort zone to the point where stuff starts to come up. So the very first week I did this, I talked about noticing. And I do say noticing quite often. And it's this. What is one action that you can take today that's out of your comfort zone and or a little bit out of your comfort zone. Sorry, my dog just bolted. I think I think she sm smells a bunny. <laughs> so what's something you can do today that's out of your comfort zone? Either on the edge of your comfort zone or directly out of your comfort zone. What is that? What can you do today to do that? And as you're doing it or getting ready to do it, ask and notice what is coming up? What thoughts are happening for you? What are some limiting beliefs, some limiting stories, some just bullshit stories that are coming up as you're about to do it? Because action is the quickest way to really get what is underneath of what's stopping you, period. So what is that step for you? Um, is it posting on Facebook? Is it doing a Facebook Live? Is it reaching out to a potential client? Is it publishing your website, publishing your book? What is that for you today? And I invite you to dive in. Go do it and notice the thoughts and limits that start to pop up for you. And in fact, if you're noticing them, send me a message. I would love to hear from you and to know what is happening. How are you creating your life by design? by getting uncomfortable, by taking action, and by noticing what's coming up so that you can start to rework, reframe those thoughts. That's it. I get really excited about action. If you're watching, post below, post a comment what the one action step you're taking today is, how you're going to create it, or message me directly. I'm happy to support you. And that's all I have for you today. I hope that you're having an incredible midweek, an incredible week overall, and I will see you tomorrow.